right, welcome back to another episode. We're so excited. We're going to be doing some smoker work. We're going to get out there on the barbecues, on the smokers. We're going to give her. Look at this, one of the favorite things in my house, my Holstein. Uh, real proud of this. My my family has a rich heritage in uh, in dairy, but we're not eating dairy. We got ourselves a great big brisket here, uh, 12 pounds. I'm going to do some trim work on it. Um, you know, some fat and everything else and get it all trimmed up, ready to smoke and put a rub on it. It's going to take a while to put this thing all together, but I can't wait to make it for you. And I hope you guys are going to enjoy it and come along with me. Okay, so it's four o'clock in the morning, about 4.15. Don't know if I want to smoke meat anymore, but we're going to do it. Okay, we are back. We are going to get the spices or the rub on here. We're going to get ready to go. I've trimmed it all off. You can see I've trimmed all the fat off. And maybe one day when I do another one, I'll give a, maybe a bit of an instructional on how to get rid of the trim, um, uh, how to trim it properly here. But you know what? It's 4.30 in the morning. This 10-hour smoke deal or 12-hour smoke deal or barbecuing thing, crazy. We're gonna put a binder on, canola oil. Let's get some canola oil on here. This is just gonna be able to let the rub adhere, I guess, stick to the meat. So get that canola oil all over. Don't have to be a bunch, a whole, a whole lot, but just get it on there. Like this, top and bottom. I, you can see before where I did a little bit of trimming. We got some of the meat, or get some inside underneath that flap. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, and uh, that's the fat side. List a little bit. Get it all covered up because we're going to put some of our rub on this here right away. Okay. Get that turned back over. I'm going to take these gloves off. I don't want to just get some of this rub going all over the place here. This rub is simply a 50 50 salt pepper mix with paprika. Um, Onion powder, garlic powder, and a little bit of cayenne. All right, don't go anywhere, hang on. Get some gloves on again. I bought these at PD Mart, they're awesome. So we'll just kind of rub that, just kind of push that down there a little bit. Get it down inside there. Where you're gonna get your burnt ends from. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. Get that rubbed on there. Be generous. Just gonna get a little bit on the front back side of this. Yeah, oh man. Get this turned over. Get some on the fat side. Look, does this not look amazing? Just pat it down there a little bit on the tip. I'm gonna go turn the smoker on. This is gonna sit for about a five hour smoke and uh, maybe a four hour smoke and about a all in all, this is still gonna take about uh, 10 hours or so before we're ready to even have a look at it. So I'll be back periodically. We are going to have some fun. Okay, I wanna show you guys something. I'm gonna do just to give you a little heads up here. The grain of this uh, brisket runs just like this. This is the grain of the meat, just like that. 
You always want to cut briskets against the grain. I know. I, I don't know why, but something about the meat falling apart and all that stuff. So here we go. I'm going to cut a little bit off right at the very end, just like this. Number one, I'm going to put this in the smoker just so I can see how it cooks. Number two, I'm going to make one little slice right here just so I remember which way the grain is. So I remember which way to cut because once this has a cap on it and a crust on it, you're not going to know which way the grain is and then you might mess it up because you always want to serve this and you always want to cut this that way against the grain. Pro tip, I know, we're just doing it. Mrs. Stain's in bed, I'm trying to be quiet. Okay, one more thing before we get this thing going. I've got it all, all ready to go here now. We're gonna just wait for the smoker to get ready. Let's get this sitting around for about an hour with this rub here. No longer, you wanna save the juices inside. That salt draws the juices out. So um, also when you get this onto the smoker, fat side down. That's gonna retain these juices and it's gonna help uh, protect uh, the underside of the, of, the, uh, of the piece of meat here. So it's gonna retain it all. Man, oh man, oh man. I can't wait for this. Okay, next stop, Smokeville. So I've been up since like 4.30. Remember the last time we talked, I was trying to be quiet because Mrs. Stain and Puffy Stain were upstairs sleeping. Anyway, we're out here, we've had a five hour smoke. I've got it now onto um, the cooking portion of it all. And uh, have a look at this. Wow, 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 wow. That is starting to look really, really good. I can't wait to show you. I've done a little injection, a little onion soup, a little bit of beef broth. I put in some, uh, oh, some Worcestershire and some soy. Looking great. This is unbelievable, you guys. This is the result of 10 hours of labor of love. It looks beautiful on the outside. It's got that nice bark. It has, it's got that mahogany color. Exactly what we're looking for. Um, I couldn't be happier with the finish. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Remember on that other video, I left myself a little map here on which way to cut it. The grains go this way. We're cutting against the grain. Here we go. We're gonna cut into it. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna move that to the side. I wanna make another cut right here. Okay, look at this folks. See that right there? Look at my knife. Look at that smoke ring. That is an absolutely beautiful smoke ring. Guys on professional tours want that. I got it here in Edmonton. This is fantastic. I'm gonna have a quick taste. Oh man. It's so good. I'm telling you guys, it's so good. Okay, brisket, we put a rub on it. I'll come back and give a quick at the end of what exactly I did here. Awesome. Awesome. All right, we've come to the end. I wanted to give you guys just a wee bit of a, I guess a wrap up, what I did. This was a full brisket, about 11 pounds. Um, it went on for a five hour cold smoke. That's what created this beautiful little uh, uh, smoke ring, you can see there. It's much better actually when it's hot, but at any rate, it doesn't really matter. It was a beautiful smoke. Um, we used mustard in the recipe that went into the rub. I created my own rub, 50-50 salt and pepper. I used onion powder, garlic powder, cayenne, and mustard powder into the rub. I made a Texas Bold um, barbecue sauce. Um, I'll, I will show you guys how to make that one day, um, but man, is it good. And finally, the brisket turned out amazing, and we put it on for a five hour cold smoke. We then put it on for about a uh, three and a half hour um, cook and then I wrapped it in tin foil and I put it back on for about another three and a half four three hours 
and then I let it sit for two hours. Turned out amazing. The crew loved it. Every one of my stains absolutely loved it. So this is awesome. Hit subscribe. I can't wait to make something else for you.